Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. A beacon of radius small r is filled with water refractive index 4 by 3 up to a height capital H as shown in the figure. On the left, the beaker is kept on a horizontal table rotating with angular speed omega. This makes the water surface curved so that the difference of the height of water level at the center and at the circumference of the beaker that is small h. Here small h is less than less than capital H and here capital uh, small h is less than less than r. As shown in the figure on the right, take this surface to approximately spheres spherical with a radius of curvature capital R. Which of the flowing is oblique R correct means multiple choice question and small g is the acceleration of the gravity and this question is asked 2020 20 advance. Here we have given four options. First option capital R equal to small h square plus small r square upon 2 small h. Second option capital R equal to 3 R square upon 2 H. Option C, apparent depth of the bottom of the beaker is close to 3 H by 2 into bracket 1 plus omega square H of capital H upon 2 G uh, raised to power minus 1. And option D, apparent depth of the bottom of the beaker is close to 3 H here capital H upon 4 into bracket 1 plus omega square H upon 4 G raised to power minus 1. Before solving the question, let us first we have to understand the gist of this question. Here we have given a container which is filled with water up to height h. Okay, then this water becomes to rotate. Then its upper surface we can say that is a meniscus. Meniscus become concave, and so therefore some level, some edges of the water level is raised up to height small h. This is small h, and here the some water that is decreases up to the height capital H minus small h. Okay. So it's behave just curved surface. And so therefore when any object which is kept inside then it becomes to be refracted. Okay. So here let us suppose this is the object kept here and its refraction become inside uh, inside to outside. Okay. And it's a radius of this cube that is small r and consider this concave surface radius is capital R and this is height on the meniscus or this level that is h then remaining distance is r minus h okay so let us first we have to find out this distance r square equal to r minus h whole square plus r square okay by using Pythagoras theorem is it clear now using Pythagoras theorem r square r minus h whole square that is r square plus h square minus 2 capital R small h plus r square. Here r square r square cancel out this minus 2 capital R h transposing become positive here h square plus r square. Here given in the question that is r small r is greater than greater than small h. It means h can be neglected, small h. Okay, so here r is greater than greater than small h. So h can be neglected. Okay, so here 2 capital R h equal to r square. So capital R equal to r square upon 2 h. That is considered first equation. Clear. The steel water is became to be rotating. Okay, then it begins to be rotating by using the equation of motion, third equation of motion. That is v square minus u square equal to 2g and the distance that is h. Okay, because it's this level of water raised from the up to the height of small h. 
but initial velocity that is 0 so v square minus 0 equal to 2 g h so v square equal to 2 g h as we know that we have to given the angular velocity that is given omega so we know that linear velocity convert into angular velocity that can be written as v equal to omega r here r is the radius of this cube so in the place of v we have substitute the value omega r whole square 2 g h omega square r square equal to 2 g h so here h can be written as omega square r square upon 2 g it is the second equation okay now substitute this value of h in our given condition that is r equal to r square 2 and what is the value of h that is omega square r square upon 2 g upon of upon in put in numerator 2 g okay so r square r square cancel out 2 2 cancel out then radius of curvature become g upon omega square this is third equation as per i explained that when water is rotating then water is raised up to the height of h from the edges and some water decreases up to the height of small h okay so here let us consider this is the object so, what is the position of object that is u equal to capital H minus small h? Okay, and we have to find out the v, and r is given that what is r? r is given that g upon omega square, and mu we have already given that 4 by 3. Okay, we are well known about that when any object which is kept in a material and the refraction from the concave surface or convex surface then that time we have using from denser medium to rarer medium we are using this formula mu by u minus 1 by v equal to mu minus 1 by r this formula is used for any object which is from denser medium to rarer medium refraction through concave or convex surface okay so therefore we have using because we have considered this object is kept inside the water so what is the value of mu that is 4 by 3 here u u is kept that is a capital h minus small h that should be taken negative okay as per yours using sign convection rule here minus 1 by v 4 by 3 minus 1 and what is the value of r that is g by omega square Now, solving this uh, equation, yes, here yeah, R is positive because object is uh, inside of the water and refraction is the outside. Okay. So, therefore, this surface become positive. Here, 4 by 3 capital H minus small h minus 1 by V. 3 ones are 3, 4 minus 3 that is 1 by 3 g and this omega square reaches up to the numerator. Here given that capital H is greater than greater than small h. So therefore this small h can be neglected. 4 by 3 capital H and this terms is transposing to the left side omega square 3 g equal to 1 by v. Here minus 4 by 3 h get common. So here remaining 1 minus plus because you have taken 4 common. So therefore of using in division, we already get common. And here you have taken h capital H common. So therefore we have using omega square h upon g equal to 1 by v. Okay. So here we have to find out the v. So, this portion is reciprocal 3h by 4 negative and this term can be written as 1 plus omega square capital H upon 4 g raised to power minus 1. Clear? So, let us see which options are correct here. Option first r equal to h square plus r square upon 2h. 
this correct option b r equal to 3 r square upon 2h is uh, wrong option c apparent depth of the bottom of the beaker is close to 3h by 2 into bracket 1 plus omega square it is also wrong and last option that is apparent depth of the bottom of the beaker is close to 3h by 4 into bracket 1 plus 1 plus omega square capital H upon 4g raised to power minus 1. So option A and D options are correct. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely for your success all the credit goes to your hard work. But if my video will help for your success then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.